This video will show you how to set up your S3 or X3. To take your bike out of the box, open the side and gently pull the yellow strap. Undo the cable ties to detach the wheel from the bike frame and set it aside. Remove the protective packaging and store it somewhere safe in case you ever need to return your bike. You can find your toolbox in the front wheel stand. It contains everything you need to get riding. Next, you need to attach your front wheel. Rotate the stem 90 degrees clockwise until it's in line with the front fender. Tighten the two bolts securely using Allen key 5, making sure the stem stays straight. Take your bike out of the front wheel stand and place it softly on the floor. Remove the plastic insert from the brake caliper. Make sure you don't squeeze the brake levers while doing this. Put the front wheel into the stand with the motor cable on the right side facing downwards. Lift up the bike and guide the front fork carefully onto the wheel. The wheel should sit in the center of the fork with equal clearance on both sides. And the brake disc should be aligned with the brake caliper pads. Place a washer, then an anti-theft nut on each side of the wheel. Firmly tighten each side using the anti-theft wrench and nut tool. Check both sides of the front fork dropout. If it's installed correctly, the anti-theft nut should sit in the center of the dropout. Make sure the motor cable runs between the motor and the fender stay. Double check that the motor cable is not rubbing on the motor or wheel. Identify the motor cable opening. To connect the motor cable, both arrows on the connectors should be aligned. Take the motor cable cover and press it over the cable holder until you hear a snap. Take the right pedal. If in doubt, look for the letter R on it. Screw it clockwise onto the crank by hand. Then tighten firmly using Allen key 6. The left pedal has an L on it and is screwed on anti-clockwise. Tighten it firmly using Allen key 6. You can now roll your bike out of the holder and lean it on the kickstand. Hold the front wheel between your legs and try to turn the handlebar. If you feel any movement, just use Allen key 5 to tighten the bolts on the stem. Pump up your tyres to 3.5 bar or 50 psi. Adjust the saddle height by inserting anti-theft Torx key T30 and turning it anti-clockwise. Slide the seat post so that it's in line with your hip. Firmly retighten the bolt to secure it in place, then put the bolt cover back on. To get your bike out of shipping mode, press the reset button or insert the charging cable. It takes around four hours to fully charge your bike. If you haven't already, you'll need to create an account and register your bike via the VanMove app. It will guide you through the steps. Your phone and your bike will then connect automatically. Next, the app will show you how to set your backup unlock code. It's quick to do and very important you set it before you ride. 
follow the steps to set your personal three-digit code. And you're ready to ride. For more help, head to support.vanmove.com.